Hey guys, Daps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am super excited about this video again. So this video is in response to a challenge uh, somebody made on this YouTube channel. So right on my screen here is my YouTube channel. So there's a particular video, this video exactly. So if I come down here to comment. So I have someone here called Mark Povell. So this guy is saying you ask for ideas on future video guides well here is a massive one how about you show us your process from start to finish the whole process of handing off your site to a client even down to the final congratulations of the working site and i want to tell you mark you don't need to dare me uh, for me to do a video like this as a matter of how well i don't even like people daring me in the first place um, if you give me a comment about the video and I find that video very sensible, I will most likely do a video around it, except of course if I didn't see the comment or maybe the video at the time uh, is difficult for me to create. But contrary to what you are asking me, you are telling me to show you my process. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot show you my process. I can only tell you my process. So I have a confidentiality agreement with my client. So I would never want to show you maybe some conversations I've had or uh, how I have spoken to this. I can only tell you exactly what I do. So sincerely, when I saw this, I understand where you're coming from. Well, that's if I'm correct. Uh, it's a challenge for people who are into web design business to know how to get some things done because you won't find uh, a process. There's no way it is taught that this is how to get things like this done. You can only learn that if you have a mentor, you have watched closely and see how you get things done. Unfortunately, if you don't have someone like that, you may struggle. As a matter of fact, you might bite your fingers which is my reality when I started out. I design websites for clients and I really don't know even how to design, how to hand over this website to them to protect myself because that's the key. You need to protect yourself. You are designing something that is a digital asset. You can transfer this to people and then they don't make payment and they default in things and then you realize that you are shooting yourself in the leg. So this can be a serious problem for a lot of people. And it was for me too when I started out I just design websites for people and I expect them to pay me and they are not paying up and it becomes a challenge. I have had a client who had done that to me before and it was extremely painful, not just because uh, my life depended on that money. Uh, I needed that money too at the time because I wasn't really doing extremely well. I just started out my business online, I quit my job, I had nothing to fall back except for this. Uh, it was extremely painful because I know this person involved is somebody who has this money is not a money that is big for you to pay you just don't want to pay because you don't see a need to pay and it is a challenge for me and people can be crazy like that sincerely people can be crazy but i i sat down to think about this and then i was able to solve this problem when i learned that i needed to treat uh, this that i do as a business the first thing i'll tell a webmaster if you are designing a website for clients for money is for you to treat that like a business so for example if you come to my website this is dapsdiary.com most people will reach out to me for jobs via my website so if you come here and you want to start a project with me for example if you come to start here this will launch out this form here that you need to fill and I make I made this form here very simple but yet it gives me a background on who you are and what you are about. So I'm telling you to describe your project. I'm asking you when you want to start. Are you starting immediately? 1 to 14 days? Uh, 1 to 30 or 60 days or you are not even sure? So that will let me measure who you are and what you are expecting from me. And then I'm asking for your full name, your email address, your phone number, uh, regardless of whatever country you are, you can choose your country and give me your phone number, your business organization, if you have, it's not compulsory, so you can see it's not asterisk, and then your job role. And then I'm asking you, how do you prefer that we communicate? That's very key. For some folk that will tell me, I just prefer that you call me over the phone so that we talk. Some will tell you email, some will tell you Skype. And so this will set the tone for how I have a communication with this client. I'm someone that I like to be very informal when I'm working with people at the same time. I now have learned over time when I've gotten my fingers burnt to always be formal 
as much as possible. Whether or not you want me to communicate with you via WhatsApp, via Skype, via Telegram, via call, via email, one thing is very statutory if you are coming to me whether or not you are coming from my official website or you are coming uh you are eating me up on my instagram or you are coming wherever you're coming from to give me a job uh, i would always send you a written document that contain the details of the job that we are about and then i will let you know my terms and conditions so that's something I need to let you know. And the easy way for me to get that done is that I use a platform called PandaDoc and that platform had helped me so much. So if you just go on your browser and type web uh, design uh, template. Oh, okay, I think I need to put proposal, web design proposal template. Uh, so you can see uh, Panadoc is now number two. Before it used to be number one and that's how I found them out. So if you click this right now, you have an already made template of web design proposal, web design maintenance and so many things you can do around your web design business. I'll have to close this up and then if you come down here, you'll see this is an already made uh, template for you that you just need to change text here and there you just need to put your sender company it will auto populate it and on all over the proposal and you can see fantastic fantastic and the amazing thing that these guys change these things from time to time a, a document like this sent over to somebody who wants to hire you to do a website design job let that person know that you're a serious person you are seriously into business and it carries all the budget of the pricing and the total payable and then you come to this place which is the most important your project times and conditions here i like to change things myself and one of the things i do with people is that i let them know that uh, they have to pay me a certain percentage uh 80 percent most times up front before i start working on their project and i let them know that i will not and over their website to them if they don't pay me my balance i let them know that sincerely that can be very difficult for you to set as a term and condition uh, but over time anyone who trusts you anyone who believe in you would oblige by that they just know that you are trying to trying to do business and thanks to a platform like PandaDoc where I can finish this proposal, I can, I can send it directly to the person. The person will see the proposal, uh, would make changes, uh, do things, make corrections. And until the person is okay with your terms and conditions and the person can digitally sign this and then a valid document uh, is made available to both parties. So this platform here makes it very 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 handy so you can go to pandadog.com i will try to leave a link in the description this is not me trying to make an affiliate sale i'm not even sure i don't even know if they have an affiliate program this is just me telling you what worked for me so that's exactly how i treat my clients so i let them know that i will not hand over your website to you uh if you don't pay me my balance so what I do most times is that I do my web design on my own server. So I then once I'm done, I do the transfer via a plugin to their live website. It's as simple as that. You see the website on my server, you make corrections on my server. Once you are okay with it, I migrate it to your server. Once I'm done designing your website with you, I start talking about maintainers. Ideally, I wouldn't want to bother you when we are supposed to talk about a web design project. But if I see from a conversation that you are someone who is very vast, who is very open, I discuss that with you. That is if I know that you need that services. If I know that it is something you want to do yourself or you have a team of guys that can do that for you, it's fine. I can discuss uh, training your, your staff for them to manage your website. I can, you can bring me on board to manage your website. These are my fees monthly uh, for me to train one of your staff. This is my fee. So that's how I keep communication going. I'm not even sure I've ever sent a congratulation message to any of my clients. I just keep doing business with them and that's it. Once you start uh, the process uh, on a very solid business foundation it's just very easy for you to continue that way so that is exactly how i do my business handing over my website to my clients 
all I've said in this tutorial is treat it like a business. Make sure that you have a written document. Even though you want to charge way less or this is a friend, this is somebody, send them a written document of your official charge and tell them you are giving them a discount. Uh, let them know that this you are giving them is a discount. That would help you. Uh, also, make sure that you collect your money upfront before you release your website to your clients. That is what worked for me. I don't know about other people. I didn't bother to check about people. I just protected myself and it worked. So that's it. And then I keep relationship going with my clients. That's it. That's how I get things done. I hope this video is useful for you. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, again, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear back from you. This is the first time I'm making a video like this, really. If you like content like this, let me know as well in the comment section that you love to have content like this so I can share my experience as a web designer who has worked as a freelancer and also worked as an agency owner in the last 10 years. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos from me. I'll see you in my next video and until then, stay safe. Bye for now.